The Binding of Isaac. Repentance. Hello, everyone. Um, can I be completely honest with you? I'm getting really frustrated with this game, and I kind of don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> I've tried doing so many runs, and I just keep fucking dying. Just over and over and over. Just, uh, it's just a horrible time, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm kind of losing patience with it quite a lot. Because I, I, what the problem is, I know how many items there are to unlock. I follow the developers on Twitter. I've had a lot of people just straight up fucking telling me what's in the game on Patreon and in comment sections and stuff. Obviously, I won't tell you guys that. Um, and I know there's so much stuff in this game to unlock, like a disgusting amount of stuff. And the frustration for me is I feel like now if I'm not unlocking like a lot of things every episode, it's kind of a waste of an episode. And that's a really bad mindset to go into because whenever I start losing a run, I just keep finding myself restarting because it's like, you know, there's not much point in continuing with this one. I know I'm going to lose. I can assess from this run I'm going to lose. Why not just restart and do it again? And the problem with that is this, what was originally supposed to be 30 minutes a day playing Isaac and upload it, has ended up being already today about an hour of me just trying runs over and over as separate characters. Um, both with a combination of unluckiness and being completely out of practice and having absolutely no time to really play this game. Uh, I don't know if I... Look, I'll be honest. If I lose this run, I think I'm going to be so demoralized I might not bother carrying on with it. Um... I'm not saying I'm going to specifically play bad or anything. I always want to play to win, but that's the problem. I know how much there is in this now, and it just feels like if I'm not doing it, that it's a bit of a waste of time. So, let's just continue as if everything's fine. And if I lose here, I will have a sad cry, and I will never play Isaac again. So we'll play as Azazel, because Azazel we haven't defeated the mother with. Azazel's obviously one of the easier characters. Uh, so again, if I lose this, there really is no excuse, and I need to retire from Isaac. I need to get more practice in before I think I can reasonably come back to a series where I'm both commentating and playing a game that I haven't touched in a long, long time. But that's the problem with doing as much content as I'm doing, and I've talked about this, like, genuinely three times already, so this is also kind of doing my head in. So I apologize if I'm not as clear as... Maybe it's necessary, but I've discussed this topic three times to my... What is essentially now? To myself. Uh, <laughs> anyway, long story short. What have we got going on right now? So second channel, we've got Skyrim and this. Uh, main channel, we've got Daily Rimworld. Elise and Sam, we've got Tea Review coming back starting tomorrow. And Dark Souls. Oh, that's fucking useless. Oh, actually, that's not bad, is it, Pisces? Not that shot isn't great, but the tears upgrade is something, I guess. Better than nothing. Anyway. Um, is there not a Tinted Rot that I ignored? Why did I do that? See, like I said, I'm not good at this game anymore. Especially not to get hit like that. Fucking hell. Get back. Oh, our tears do actually knock them back. That's interesting. I don't maybe think we'd be able to knock back a full speed charging gurgling, but... Health upgrades is what we need. If we if we want to deal with the devil, we're going to need a health upgrade, like, right now. You can die, you big bitch. And you can die. Okay, well, we can't, in that case, take the deal with the devil. So here's what I think. Ignored. We're angel deal time now. And I'm alright with that. Because, I mean, Azazel, angel deals. Get whatever health upgrades we can. I think that's fine. We got bony heart, though. We don't have a red heart in it. I wonder if you could trade bony hearts away if they don't have a red heart in it. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Sorry, I got rid of my nose a second, so we're just going to play the dodge game for a little while. Um, what was I talking about? I just feel like there's so much to do. And, and again, when I don't win, it just feels like a wasted episode, and then I feel like I need to scrap it and do better for you guys. Um, it's a very bad mindset to have for what was supposed to be a very quick... Oh, I suppose that would do. Very quick, easy content. Um... But simultaneously, the only reason I'm actually here recording this one is because uh, I just before I started recording, I was like, better check the comments. And someone's like, well, this is my favorite daily content you do right now. And I was like, oh, fuck, I can't cancel this. So here we are. But it is very demoralizing to not get those unlocks, knowing how many there are. So I think what I'm going to have to commit to here and now is if we lose, I'm just going to have to accept it. You know, if we're only 15 minutes in, I'll restart. Oh, I suppose I suppose we should always play until at least we've got half an hour's worth of footage. Um, you know, like an episode. Something for you guys to watch. Uh, 
Fuck me, there's so many of these guys. But ultimately, I need to make it more about the video and less about the result of the video. So that's what we're going to do here today. If we lose to Azazel, whatever. Who cares? We'll just random another character and we'll just carry on as if nothing happened, right? And we're just trying to have some fun doing it. Not that I haven't had fun playing, but it's a lot more of a relief in my mind when I think I've kind of shown you guys something new or something like that. Uh, seeing a new thing, unlocked a new item. But with all of the content, that was the point I was making, I remember. With all the content I'm doing, I've got no way to... Fuck me, these items are shit. I've got no way to practice this game. And it is a game whereby if you want to talk about shit unrelated to it as you're playing it, you do need to have a lot of practice under your belt. And that's not something I've done for a while. And it's not something I have time to do unless I make it my business to play Isaac every day. But then you've got to expect for the first while, long time anyway, that the content isn't going to be particularly great. Should we focus on killing the boss and say fuck the fly? Bah. Nice. Okay. No deal with the angel. We had a 67% chance there and the game decided, nope, you can suffer. Item room was terrible. So we are officially now behind the curve, no doubt. I don't know what that is. Extra curse rooms. Oh, great. I suppose we can go in curse rooms a little bit cheaper because we are Azazel. We can fly in and only take half a spirit heart. Uh, but since we've started, we've had absolutely no health drops, nor have we had any decent passive items. Uh, so I guess we'll just continue on. Obviously, we've got to go and do the alternate lost floor. Does lost keep the brimstone? I don't think so. Pretty sure they don't anyway. Oh, apparently they do. Oh, that's good. That's something. All right. Well, I mean, it was a fairly easy boss fight, so we should be fine to do it again. So a lot of these other rooms, I keep taking a shitload of damage on, like this room especially, when I was playing it as a Zazel got my ass handed to me. Ah! Please stay away, champion boy. Okay, we're good. Purple ones will randomly fire off bullets in random directions. These not back tiers, I'm going to be honest. They're actually really bad because the enemies are being pushed out of the beam that's doing damage to them. Which is really not helping things at all. Granted, the beam is up right now is powerful enough whereby it's not really super relevant. But when we fight stronger enemies, it's going to be a real pain in the ass when we keep having to use multiple shots for them. Unless we can push them into a corner. That kind of works. So I want to talk a little bit about, and apologize if again I'm not as clear as normal. I've rehashed this three times. Uh... What I plan on doing in the main channel. So we've got like a shitload of daily content. When Dark Souls ends, that's going down to 30 minutes a day. Or whatever we replace it with is going down to 30 minutes a day. Um, that was already a bad start. If I die here, I won't be best pleased. Let's be a bit more cautious here, I think. Okay, fine. Oh, come on. So that's next going to go down to 30 minutes a day, right? Brilliant. <sighs> okay. Um, does that do anything? I suppose it might work. That's also okay. I don't know what we're going to replace that with. And obviously, tier review is coming back probably tomorrow, actually. Um, but that's going to be limited to 30 minutes a day as well. So what was normally two hours of content a day going up on the Lisa and Sam channel is actually only going to be... An hour of content a day, but it's going to be hopefully a bit better. You know, a lot more condensed. Um, you know, maybe if Elise wants to do some editing with that too, that could work fine. Maybe do something fancy with it. I don't know. Um, but I think that's a nice thing to do with that channel is just kind of, you know, an hour of content a day down from two hours of content a day is uh, still a lot of content. But that's also an hour a day at saving both of us well, more than that with editing and uploading as well. Um, then with the main channel, obviously this channel is going to have Isaac until I actually can't bear to play it anymore. And um, Isaac and Skyrim. Skyrim is slowly creeping up in terms of time as well. I think ultimately we've just got way too much content going on. Maybe I'd feel a little bit better about Isaac if I didn't think these episodes were... Well, if I... I had a little bit more time to maybe get an episode uploaded where something actually happened in it. I just don't have time to do that right now. 
you know, every time I restart, I'm thinking like, well, shit, that's another hour I've got to stay awake tonight to be able to make sure RimWorld's done and uploaded. What is this? Oh, that's just a tears and shot speed up, isn't it? That's okay. 0 0.15. No, it's not okay. I lied to you. That's really bad. Why are all these items so fucking dog shit? Jesus. Two runs in a row. They're all crap. Rib of greed. Crap. Or is that jawbone? I don't remember. It looks crap. Quad shot. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, we do four times the damage, but it takes us four times as long to charge it up. Is that any better? No, of course not. Because now we've got to... We've basically got to spend four times as long per enemy charging up. God. Quad shot can, can be good. Assuming we get good tiers upgrades. But we'll see. Now, with the main channel, that's the big thing that's going to change. I know I've talked about this a little bit more before, but I want to explain it in a bit more detail. So, with the main channel, the big thing I want to do is dedicate more time across more days to a single video. What I mean by that is there's still going to be always daily content going up on the main channel. When big CK3 mods come out, chances are there will be two daily episodes a day. CK3 is actually very easy. I, I really, really underestimated the joy of recording Crusader Kings. Compared to RimWorld or Skyrim, for example. Because Crusader Kings, you play at your own speed. And my speed is speed 5. Because that means I can pack so much more into a 30-minute video. Less to edit. More things going down. Hopefully a lot more entertainment packed in over the same period of time. And we can kind of theorycraft a bit with... That's a gigantic poop. We can theorycraft a little bit with that as well, can't we? What if we shoot that with petrified poop? I'm going to shoot it. Zap. Holy crap. Look at all those things. Just give me an hour to charge my beam for every enemy in this fucking room. Good God. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when those mods come out. Because daily Crusader Kings again will be like a... <laughs> that will be a lifeline I so desperately need. Uh, I don't want people to watch this though and think I'm like on the verge of quitting YouTube or anything. That's absolutely not the case. Um... If I was, I would obviously just cancel a series. And I'm not cancelling any series. Just to put that into into perspective a little bit. Um, my big concern is a lot of this is just kind of wasted time. Because there's, I think, too much content going up for... There, there's something for everybody. But there's very little overlap between everything. Not everything is for somebody. Does that make sense? And I think... With what I was talking about before, with doing over the course of... Oh, you motherfucker. Over the course of multiple days, dedicating maybe 20 minutes a day to a single video. Pyro, 99 bombs. Sure, I guess. Um, that could be very good. I would like to do just one or two edited highlight reels. Uh, not highlight reels, but more comedy-based funny content based on a random game because there's been a lot of requests for like um the sims has always been very highly upvoted stellaris which i'm not gonna do let me just put that out there um but it takes like 60 hours to get a campaign in that that will be 120 episodes of range upgrade sure i guess it does actually work with the zazel it's very minor but it's something these boss trap rooms i, I should point out quad shot against bosses is gonna be disturbingly good not against bosses that split like this but nice um, what was I talking about? Right, yeah, so Stellaris takes way too long, but but with games like The Sims, it's quite highly recommended. I'm going to start working on a They Are Billions video, and again, I'll probably spend 20 minutes on that later. To, uh, not even 20 minutes. Probably spend an hour on that. See how it looks. You know, if it is ready to upload, if I do somehow manage to do that, and I can edit in something funny, it doesn't have to be a full 30-minute video, I'll do that. But if it's not ready, which it almost certainly won't be, the next day I'll come back to it. Maybe spend 20 minutes or an hour on it. And then, if, if it's ready, I'll upload it. If not, I'll come back to it the next day after that. I've got that luxury now, whereby Rimworld is getting as, as much views and ad revenue and analytics and whatever else you want to look at. Um, views is always the important one for me. Mainly because it correlates to all those other things. But then I know I'm doing something right. That's the ultimate thing. Bollocks. You fucking suck. I hate this boss. You motherfucker. Die. Good God. No range is kind of shitty. I want angel deals. Oh, 
Thought we'd come in and might as well. Might as well check if we got some hearts. I really should check that last one as well. My bad. Right, we've got to go do the lost bit, haven't we? Before I forget. Let me have a look if there's anything in here first. No, we're all right. Anyway, um, I can't remember that exactly where I was up to in my big tirade. I'll buy that, though. Hell yeah. Uh, ooh, butt penny? Butt penny or petrified poop? What a question. Uh, I think I'll take deep pockets. More money. Oh, is that how deep pockets works now? That used to allow you to carry a second, what, like, card or trinket? Now you can go into 999 coins? When in the fuck would that ever be relevant? <laughs> what a stupid item. Uh, I would never have bought that. Anyway. I can't remember what the point of my rant I was up to, but it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, so, um, basically, I've, I've got the opportunity now, because Remord is doing so well, to actually experiment with things a little bit more like that. And see... See how they go. Because Rimworld is my safety net. You know, that's in place. It's the thing everybody likes. I might as well do some other stuff and branch out a little bit. And, you know, if other people find it entertaining, that's great. We might even find another series to play on the main channel or on the side channel as well. People might realize, oh shit, I really like The Sims or whatever. Um, I don't think that one will do particularly well. But it'd be funny for a one-off video. I think if I did a consistent series, people would not be best pleased. Because it's a little weird like that. Right, this is going to be interesting. Nice. Phase two. Well, I don't know why I couldn't have done that with Azazel. The pressure of having to dodge with this guy, I suppose, became a bit more prominent in my mind. I'm not playing you. You'll kill me, you selfish boy. Should we go to see if there's anything in the boss trap room? I don't think there can be anything in this world, but why not? Hello. Oh, my me. Just here for your things. No, nothing. Waste of time. Waste of a bomb. Now, I've only got 94. My question to you guys then becomes... I've already talked about this this episode. I'm losing my fucking mind here. Um, my question to you guys this episode then becomes... What would you like to see on the main channel? As one-off edited comedy videos. Um, imagine if I took all the jokes from a remote episode. Cut to those without any of the kind of talking bits and the bits where we discuss what we're planning and shit like that and building and yada yada. We took all the jokes... We combine that whilst also showcasing a game. I've done it before with some things. Oh, this is probably worth it. Ow. Well, I've got plenty of hit points, so I'm not going to sweat that one too much. There we go. Nice. As we get enough keys to pay our way through here. Okay, a couple of bombs. Don't really want that. And another key. Nice. And a spirit heart. Good shit. Hold on. i got to itch my nose again. <laughs> Thank you for holding on. I appreciate that. Ask and you shall receive. We'll try that against the mother. See if it works. Let's go for the secret room. Why the fuck not? So yeah, any suggestions? I'm all open on that one. Preferably games I can characterize and do fun things with. Uh, the Sims is going to be, I think, pretty good. God, I got a really fucking itchy nose. Uh, just because... So my plan with it... Slight spoilers, I guess. Uh, my plan with it is to try and recreate a lot of the characters from our previous series, be that Remold, Crusader Kings, whatever, in The Sims. And there's a cool mod called Enraz, which basically any character you're not playing as in the neighborhood, because you can move in all your Sims into the same neighborhood in The Sims 3. There's no loading screens or anything like that. Uh, they all are just out there in the world. Blood bombs. How does that work with 98? But I need to go look up what that does. Because if it lays creep, that could be very, very good. Um, blood bombs, Isaac. Anyway, the Sims 3, in my opinion, is still the most superior one because it allows you to, um, you know, all the characters to be in this open world. There's no loading screens if you want to visit people's houses. You'll see them out there in the world. They might just walk past your house randomly, bring in all the characters from our other series, and then we'll see what they get up to. Anyway, um, they leave a pool of red creep. Gives Isaac a heart container and heals him for five hearts. When we pick it up, got it. Um... Allows him to place a bomb at the cost of taking half heart of damage. Well, that's obviously not going to happen. But it's a health upgrade, which is good. And I think it would just be funny to... And, and sorry, with, with the mod called Enra's uh, story progression, it... Not as... Not as much as a player controlling them would be, but they would gain autonomy somewhat closer to if a player was controlling them. They'll do things that they wouldn't normally do in the base game. So you might see 
Fat Larry going off and getting married to Slona, for example, for the ultimate crossover. You might have Don Excelente murdering Cock Excelente. And that would be something we would just kind of discover as we played through in that video and kind of had a silly time with it and kind of did the highlights of what was going on there in their little village. And I was thinking doing it kind of sitcom style, drop in with each house and see what they're up to. That's a fucking horrible room. That should be illegal. And I thought that'd be just funny for a one-off idea, but if we kept doing it over a long period of time, or maybe do that like once a month or something like that, or once every two weeks, just kind of drop in with them and, and see what's happening. And we get in there, can we, moron? Samson's lock. Uh, I need to look at what that does as well. Samson's lock. Uh, your rage grows. One in 15 chance to increase damage by 0 0.5 for the current room each time an enemy dies. For the current room each time... For the current room. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Great, because that's what we need. More damage. <laughs> well, I suppose you've got to explore this floor, right? Because you've got to find the, uh, the minecart. Big chub, I should also say. Terrible item. Way too slow. It's the wrong character build for that. So I'll blow, blow some of this stuff up, eh? See if we can find something. Our damage is incredible. One thing we don't have is range. So the mum fight is going to be interesting. The mother fight is going to be interesting. Okay, well, that's our minecart unlocked. Fuck it. Should we do that now? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to start working on They Are Billions. Like I said, uh, that's something for me to start doing later on. Do we maintain the ability to fly? Because it's inherent to Azazel. That's going to make this fucking hilariously easy then, is it not? Well, that's incredible. Well, that gives Azazel just a, like a disgusting advantage. I assume it's the same with the loss then too. I'm surprised he didn't take away his wings for this segment. Because that means this is just going to be a case of... Oh no, what shall we do? I guess because she's a demon and Azazel's already a demon. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Do we have to keep the key then? That's mine now. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Did we get to keep the key? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember what we were on beforehand. Anyway. If you got any ideas for games like that, then. That's, that's what I'm after. You know, games where we can inject a little bit of story element to it and have, like, really funny moments. But, you know, maybe there's some downtime in between that I can... Uh, can edit out for the purposes of that. I'll try and get at least one of those out a week. Hopefully a couple of weeks, because it seems a bit weird. I, I What I kind of feel bad for right now is the people who don't like Rimworld, who subscribe for Crusader Kings or whatever, um, now being, or maybe don't like the current Rimworld series, being lumbered with, well, just a Rimworld series. Oh no, where else would they get other content, except for the other two channels where I'm uploading three hours of content every day. Four hours of content every day. Not really sure how we took damage there. One of the rocks, or oh, the bomb rock just exploded for reasons that I'm sure make some sense to somebody somewhere. Right, this is not going to be a fun boss fight because now we have to charge up a shitload for each enemy. This is probably going to take quite a while to kill the lot. I suppose that the, the sacrificial dagger that we've got there, I shouldn't call it sacrificial dagger, that's actually an item. The knife. It's not even a mum's knife, is it? Just the knife. Might get a bit of damage in. Little chub. Big chub. Some variant of chub. Oh, you motherfucker. An itchy nose again. I need to go see a doctor about that. Doctor, whenever I talk, I have an itchy nose. Fucking hell. Right. Five out of six. We're almost there. Oh, God. Now we see the dangers of quad shot. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. That'll do. Why hit me there? Oh, there's a fucking little spider. <laughs> right, let me in. Thank God we've got some red hearts, I suppose. Jesus Christ. It's taking years off me, this game. It really is. Mausoleum XL as well. I suppose I can't complain. I suppose it speeds things up a little bit, eh? The cork or a fishy head? I don't really want either of those, I don't think. I suppose the fish head is a bit more useful than the petrified poop. I don't actually know what Lost Cork does. Let's lock that up too. See if that's any good right now. Lost Cork. This is the radius of creep. Oh! That's actually good. Oh, I should have used my bombs during that boss fight. No. There we are. Alright. Well, that could actually be quite good then. 
Haha. <laughs> Don't know that was much better, was it? Doesn't seem like a particularly large creepy puddle. Oh, this is good though. Give me give me more stone chests. Oh, it's an eternal heart there. Don't pick it up. Save it. Savor the eternal heart. Okay. Oh! I love that this little lie traces you. That's kind of fun. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> we really do need a heart to fill up this empty bone before I lose it. Okay. Fine. Nice. Die. Oh, I missed. Okay, we're good. Oh, come on. Just a red heart, please. I beg you. I need all the health I can get. Oh, that was dangerous. Careful there. We got we got guaranteed health upgrade on this floor. Unless I die. Which point, I guess it's not really guaranteed, is it? Two item rooms on this floor as well, don't forget. I know I might mentally block that out at some stage. Actually, that, that item, whichever one makes them explode. The, you know, that one item that we picked up a fuckload as well. Oh, my God. That makes them explode into... <laughs> makes them explode into bullets. Very, very powerful against those guys. You know how I said, why the fuck would I have any of that? Maybe that's a side effect of deep pockets. More money spawns? Because that was like 15 cents from a single room. What do you call that? What's 15 cents? You, you call that in something. In America, right? What's a dime? Is a dime 10? Maybe you don't call that anything. Why a dime for 10? I'll look that up. I don't actually know. I like to look up what words mean. I don't mean that in like, what is boss? But, you know, like, where they come from? Why Why would? Why do you call it a dime? Sad tears too. We got a tear. We got a bomb. We got a bomb boy run. He cries bloody tears. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something. Oh, more money, you say. Oh, maybe maybe Deep Pockets is actually really good, and I underestimated it. One, we've almost got that heart. We haven't taken any hits on this floor yet, either. Please. Please, I just need the heart. Oh, you see this? Bollocks. Should have seen that coming. I saw a rock tinted in my... Fucking motherfucker. So my eyes light up. Blow that up. I like that. That's fun. Oh my god, the coins. The coins. I'm rich. Not a single luck upgrade. Actually, no, we've had a couple. That's all right. I hate those things. They just throw me off so much. Ow. I mean, I don't really care about taking damage at this point. It's red heart damage. Who gives a shit? For some reason, we're not losing our deal with the devil anyway. I don't know why occasionally you get hit and you don't lose your deal with the devil. 23%. Maybe it was 100% before we got hit. Ever think about that one? How the fuck were we not hit there? Don't slap me, please. I haven't got much range, but good lord. God, quad shot is killing me here. We should really be blowing up these skulls and shit too. Worry about that later, though. Uh. Oh, man. Uh, what does the mum's locket do? Let's look that one up too. Mom's Locket. Well, bear in mind what we've got right now synergized with our bombs. Mom's Locket grants half a red heart each time a key is used to unlock a door, golden chest, or key block. Turns half heart pickups into full hearts. Oh. You know what? Sold. I mean, our bombs do enough. To I think if anything stood in the crib of our bombs afterwards, what the hell are we fighting, eh, when it shoots out eight lasers from it? Ow. You big fuck. <laughs> Let's try not to take damage during the boss fight then, I guess. We might we might get a deal yet. Maybe one on this entire run would be generous. Bad range and bad tears rate. I normally a death sentence for Azazel. It's not that bad, I guess. Incredible damage, but I'm gonna win that. Oh Ragman! If we haven't even got enough damage to kill Ragman. Bit of a concern. Our first floor boss. A bit of a concern. Should we blow up a lot of these fires too? I know it's 1 in 10, but when you got 99 bombs, what bloody difference does it make, eh? Yay, there we are. We got a health upgrade, obviously, leaving this wall too. Should have picked that up before we went into the boss fight. And, you know, keep it with us. Oh, hang on. We've got to pick up that eternal heart before we go and fight the mum fight, you idiot. Because it's the mum fight, you idiot. 
<laughs> to be fair, we're only 18 minutes in to this, this particular run. So even though it's not the best, we're going pretty hasty speedy. It's that other fucking item room. Find out we can get out of here. Go back and get that eternal heart too, I guess. We might have to backtrack anyway. Ah! How aggressive. There goes that spirit heart already. Fucking hell. What a horrible boy you are. Okay, maybe we can just kind of wait. Use the rocks. There we go. Uh, I suppose. Hello. Great head. More damage. Please, brother. I just want more damage. Why don't we fight the first boss? I think that could hurt. And then we'll go back. Okay, here we go. And perish. Well, we killed one of them. <laughs> Good work. Have a bomb. It's a shame the bombs don't shoot quad shot too, eh? Damn it. Poor timing on that one. Oh, you know what? Our damage is nowhere near as good as I wanted it to be. Fuck. That's pathetic. Guess that will do. A health upgrade. Good. Honestly, that is good. I know that sounded sarcastic. Just want some tears, brother. I could do some retro games on the main channel. Those always do shit. You always think, oh, a piece of my childhood I can bear for the world. And then they always do terrible. And then you feel maybe that rose tinted glasses are a, an actual thing. Obviously, I haven't really done that. But I can predict that's about what's about to happen. I just feel like, what, Pokemon? Do you guys remember this underrated gem? Pokemon? I don't think I would ever do anything like that on the main channel. Certainly not. I suppose it's more of a Twitch game, you know? Does that make sense? It's just one of those games where it's like, everybody knows what's going on. So what the fuck do you talk about? That's when you would just go into a complete other tirade entirely about, well, I guess specifically exactly what I'm talking about right now. You can fuck off, you horrible boy. Oh, come on! Oh, there's a little one. I'm taking the little ones. What about here? What makes you small? I have become little one. Give me a tears upgrade. Ooh, Bloody Lust could be good. How can I turn down Bloody Lust? I could be one of the best items in the game. Okay. Eternal Heart. Mum Fight. If we could get a Teleport card. What's this? The Devil. That's well, not a Teleport card, but I use it in the Mum Fight regardless. Teleport card? Teleport card. Ah! <gasps> What teleport card? Guess who's heist and boss rush? That's right, it's me. Ha ha ha, free items. What would I take? Soy milk. Yeah, give me that. Apparently soy milk is even worse now, so I probably wouldn't take soy milk. Soy milk, for those of you who don't play much Isaac, is uh, an item that was... I'm going to say it, it was a meme. Um, It basically made you do no damage at all, but in exchange you had, like, machine gun fire. Your tears would go exceedingly fast. Um, but again, you would do no damage, but the tears maintain the knockback. So you'd be knocking enemies back and then you'd have to reposition. You'd be walking into shots, etc, etc. It was a bad item. There are some synergies where it's okay. Uh, for the most part, though, I would never take it. In this situation, quad shot soy milk? <sighs> I suppose it might not be bad. You watch us get fucking soy milk in the bloody boss trap room now. Ow. Well, there goes my eternal heart. And our angel deal. Right. Slice. Uh, I suppose we go this way. Cricket's head. Uh, what are those? Oh, glitter bombs. That item's kind of cool as well. The intruder. Um, Cricket's head doubles our damage. How can I not? Well, you can fuck off. Where do we want to go from here, then? Um, want to go back to the mum fight and head out, I guess. Okay. Well, that was something. Well, I don't know if it was good, but it was something. I mean, Cricket's Head is a fantastic damage upgrade, but the problem is, I feel like dealing with bosses wasn't exactly our weak point anyway. So, you know, what difference does it make, really? Okay. Hello there. 
Good. I'm glad that that didn't shot on us. Otherwise, that would have been a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Ah! Okay. Oh! oh, my God. See, even with Cricket's head, it's not worth it because the damage is still actually pretty mediocre. Although, it might actually affect our bombs. We'll just yeet a couple of those in there. Oh, my God. Our laser tears push back our own bomb. Nice. I suppose that's not bad. Okay, then. Jesus Christ. What are you up to? 23 minutes. Come on, be another XL for. <laughs> Corpse won. 50% chance of a devil deal. What's the chance of us not getting hit on the floor where it takes an hour to charge our tears? I'd say fairly low. Oh, some things for me. What are we going to do with all this money? I, I, you know what? You know, I said like, oh, maybe brilliant. I said maybe uh, Deep Pockets wasn't as bad as I anticipated. Well, great. Now we've got 132 coins and fucking nothing to do with it. So I would like to, I would like to re-evaluate my re-evaluation and say it's still terrible. Granted, we can have bad shops. Although shops have just generally been nerfed, which is really great. <laughs> it's nice to make shops better. Oh, by the way, the shops are worse. Oh, thank you. How generous. How kind. I haven't played the new character yet. Jacob and Esau. I haven't touched him at all. We got bloody lost. On the next floor, we should be just doing everything we can to take as much damage as possible to build up our damage even further still. Because we're going to get peppered either way. More health upgrades. Happy to see it. We did not have a single angel or devil deal this entire run. And that's just how good I am. <laughs> Yeah, the intruder, the other item, is kind of fun. So the intruder gives you essentially quad shot without the negative tears effect of quad shot. If you're hit and fall below a certain amount of health, the spider jumps off of your head. It's a spider on the head that fires a couple of extra tears. Um, so I said it's kind of like quad shot. Uh, it jumps off your head and it starts chasing enemies down, um, which is fine. I suppose it's quad shot that's really good, but then half the time is really bad. Whereas regular quad shot is just really bad. So it would have probably been better than... I would have certainly taken over quad shot. That's... that's why am I carrying the fucking hanged man? Never know when we might need to fly, I suppose. That's what I hate. That entire shot was charged for one little wormy boy. Okay. Oh, please, come on. How many tears upgrades did we get in this entire run? I think it's somewhere in the... I think we had, like, one tiers upgrade. I think it was shit, like, really early on, didn't we? Actually, looking at our item bar, we have not got a single tiers upgrade there. Christ. Again, as Azel without tiers upgrades and range upgrades is already a problem. <laughs> All right, well. If we lose this run, it'll be a run of bad choices. Did I know we were getting quad shot when I picked it up? If I willingly picked up quad shot, yeah, okay. That was a, that was a run of bad choices. Now we got to charge... 10 minutes for each one of these. And there's the mother boss fight. Are we prepared? Well, we got four health and no range. The left hand. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Right, let's backtrack, get some health. Maybe take a few more hits to build up Bloody Lost. Maybe take some hits to build up Bloody Lost. Health first. If we've got excess health, obviously convert that into damage. Wow, those are fucking fast. There's some health, I guess. Thank you for that. I suppose the locket, we might have to thank for some of these health upgrades if we do get any. What are you again? Convert everything into bombs. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> That'll help. We'll put that with our 89 other bombs. Fuck. If we're backtracking and taking damage, there's no point backtracking. Okay. You're heading the fucking game. Higher chance of heart drops is probably at this point more preferable over getting full hearts. Brilliant. Could we really do some hearts though? Hey, there we are. Game's crashed. No, we're good. I've noticed Isaac is very unstable compared to how it used to be. What the hell causes it? Uh, should we just fucking book it? What do you think? I'll brave a few more rooms. The second we start taking damage, we're going to the boss fight. Because it's not worth the gamble. Get a little extra damage. We might already be at Bloody Lust Prime. I don't think we are. We're not. You can tell by how red you are. We're not very red right now. So, And with the child's heart, we can get more heart drops anyway. So... Oh, the farts don't do damage? What the hell's the point of that, then? Oh, you 
pissy fuck. Oh, you start taking damage while you're in there. I see. The tower card against the mum fight, though. God, I feel like Shaun of the Dead in the movie. Shaun of the Dead. I suppose his name in the movie probably wasn't Shaun of the Dead. Otherwise, that's probably a tad bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Hello, I'm Shaun of the Dead. What do they call you that? Oh, no reason. Oh! Okay. Get him, big chub. Shit. You know what? This actually wasn't a bad idea to backtrack them. We gotta look at the good side of things. We might be taking extra damage that's unnecessary, but we're also gaining extra damage that's very necessary. If it's gonna take us an hour to hit the fucking boss, I want that to actually hit hard. Just got a text message. Who fucking sends text messages? Your Amazon parcel has been delivered today and received. Um. Fucking what? I haven't left this chair in 41 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure that's been left on the doorstep ready for someone to steal. That's good. That's fine. That's good. So the tower card against the mother. Fill a room full of very large explosive creepy grenades. Well, I could fuck with that. We'll use it hopefully on the second phase when she's actually on the floor and we'll take damage from the creep as well. Kapow! Kapow! Brilliant. There's two hits. There's three hits. Die. I, I kind of understand how to avoid a lot of these hits now, though, which is good. It's like a veins. I didn't realize it was a veins burst. That's fucked. Bah! Bah! Okay, well, now we're taking damage. Nice. Phase two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Boom. Is she actually on the floor there? Kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Did you take any damage from that at all? Mother fucker. Oh no. That's bad. Please die. Not me though. Not me, I'm too cool. I'm too cool. I'm dead. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> I absolutely hate this game. I'm so done with it. I'm so done with Isaac. 